Welcome back everybody, and if you're new here, hello, my name is Fragalanis, how you doing? Before we start counting down the best Sinnoh Pokemon, I want to thank you for the 1000 subscribers milestone, it has been a great month for the channel. The Pokemon Iceberg video is approaching 100,000 views, and all other videos are well received, so thank you so much once again. And now, let's see what the Sinnoh region has for us. Last time we left with the best Pokemon from the Hoenn region. While the third generation is one of the most cherished by fans, it was Gen 4 that really pushed Pokemon past its limits. We are introduced to a large array of new characters, and the mythology of the world is expanded. Now with deities and even Satan. Today we are gonna delve deep into this generation's strongest members. As always, I am dividing all Pokemon in six main categories. Health points, attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed. Then I pick the one with the highest stat from each group. All good? Let's go! For the first time ever, the health point stat spot is shared between two Pokemon, both part ghost type. They are Giratina and Rifblim, with 150 each. The Lord of the Distortion World, since only its attacking and defensive stat switch between its two forms, keeps the HP stat consistent even in its alternate form, but the real deal comes when it's equipped with the Grisius Orb, item that boosts its stab moves by 20%, a massive threat. The Blim Pokemon, on the other hand, has a lot less bulk, as you can see from its defensive stats. That said, its abilities are really solid when talking battle. Either you boost your special attack with a flame orb, or you consume your item to strike fast acrobatics. The choice is there. Moving on to the attack stat, we can safely say that the fossil Pokemon Rampardos is no match for anyone. It has a crazy 165 base stat, which it can pair with the strongest rock type attacks. Unfortunately, its speed is low, so it might take a choice scarf to make Rampardos a real force to be afraid of. It's only natural that the Pokemon with the highest defense stat is Rampardo's counterpart, Bastiodon. The shield Pokemon packs great defensive stats, 168 physical and 138 special. Considering its poor speed stat, I think Bastiodon would benefit from learning the move Gyro Ball, dishing great attacks in retaliation. Maybe, one day, it will be able to access that move. For the special attack stat, we have a tie once again. With around 150, the box art legendaries, Dialga and Palkia, reign supreme over Sinnoh. The Time God is slightly bulkier than its counterpart, while the Spatial Pokemon is a tad faster. Other than this, they only differ in typing, which some people speculate represents the states of matter. Solid, the Steel type, and Liquid, Water type, with Giratina's Ghost type being the gaseous one. Moving on to strictly non-legendaries, the highest special stat is the 135 from Porygon Z. The virtual Pokemon didn't improve much on its pre-evolution Porygon 2, but it indirectly made it better because 2 now can use the Eviolite to boost its already higher defenses. On the other hand, Porygon Z is less bulky, meaning people won't choose it even if it has 30 more attack points. It is quite trivial that both defensive spots in the Sino region are shared by Rock Seal type Pokemon, because with a special defense stat of 150 we have Probopass. This Mustachi Pokemon has great defenses and not much else going for it. Unfortunately, it gets a lot of hate for its design, and while I can see why some people may not like it, I think Probobus is a fine Pokemon. The Iron Dust as a Mustache is a funny idea. It was even used again for the Alolan Geodude line in later generations. We're closing off with the fastest Pokemon in Sinnoh. Shaman Skyform has a fair 127 speed stat at its disposal. While I believe it was a neat idea shaking up the cute mythical Pokemon with 100 in every stat, I'm not very fond of this Skyform design, and think that the basic shaming is much better. Filtering out legendaries from this category, we find out that with 125, Weavile is the fastest Pokemon of Gen 4. It was a welcome evolution to a beloved underwhelming Pokemon of the past, Sneasel. With its great attack stat, the Sharp Claw Pokemon qualifies as a perfect last cannon, threatening most Dragon types. Bonus spot. Do you know which Pokemon from the Sinnoh region has the highest base stat total, taking out legendaries and pseudo legendaries? Surprisingly, it is Togekiss, the Jubilee Pokemon. With its 545, it is a great Pokemon that has been present in most competitive scenes during the years since its introduction. Togekiss has a powerful ability, Serene Grace, that helps stunning the opponents when hitting with the stab hair slash. On top of this, it even gained the fairy type in Gen 6, another great offensive type. I believe that Togekiss is the example of a later gen evolution done perfectly. It improves a lot on Togetic, while remaining familiar. And here you have it, 
the top 6 strongest Pokemon of each category from Sinnoh. Thank you so much for watching. If you missed them, right now on the screen, you can click on the playlist with all the top 6 episodes. I hope to see you for the next video. Goodbye.